Hello Mallards! It is Sunday, the final day of regular Fringe. All that's left is Patron's Pick Day tomorrow. And I am not in front of art at Visual Fringe because my last show was off campus and then I came home. So uh, I am instead in front of the beautiful shower curtain that is the door to my closet to talk about the three amazing shows I saw today. So the first show I got the opportunity to see was Multitudes, which was admittedly a show I went to because a friend had created it, not because I knew anything about it or was necessarily intrigued by the description. In fact, I'm not sure I've read the description, but I was not disappointed. So this show ended up being sort of a study of cults uh, and the power of an individual. Uh, and I really, it's a one man show. And it had some informative stuff uh, about cults from the past, as well as a narrative element that was him playing several characters involved in his made up uh, cult. And you got to see that evolve as he talked about the different stuff and he stepped in and out of that character. And I thought that it was really fun and shocking and a little bit sad and depressing. Cause I don't know if you're aware, but cults kind of sad and depressing. But they did win patrons pick, which means of the shows that I've recommended, this is one of the few you actually could see uh, because they have another show tomorrow. I'm sending Megan. I think she'll really enjoy it. And then the next show that I went to was Paul Strickland's Once Upon a Lie. And it was so good. So good. He is so talented. His storytelling is incredible. This set of stories in particular really spoke to me and and there was music and we all sang along and the whole story set was really about change and accepting change and how that's okay. And, and he does such a good job of delivering messages through story, like a modern parable. I loved it. He told a fantastic version of Rapunzel. Not what I expected from the show, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. And it was heartwarming and hilarious and awe-inspiring. And I always leave a Paul Strickland show feeling like I was entertained and I also learned something. And I feel a little bit better about humanity because of his stories. And that's a nice feeling to have. And then the third and final show we went to was Variety 20 or XX, depending on whether or not you read Roman numerals. And it is the 20th year celebration for Varieties. And it's a dance show. It was stunning. A wide mix of different pieces featuring all of the different dancers had sort of an overall traveling along the tracks motif, also used some tarot cards. The costumes were stunning. The lighting was really cool. The lighting design was awesome. Like really, really cool. It evoked the train several times. There was a neat hanging light that they could independently turn on, on and off that created some really, really beautiful moments. And a lot of their like LED lights were used to their full capacity to create flashing in different colors and really different moods. They used a big projection wall that also was really well done. Like <sighs> the standard of these shows, incredible. And I cannot believe that Varieties is 20 and <sighs> just how great it is. I'm so lucky in particular to live in Orlando where there are such incredible and amazing creators or where such incredible and amazing creators visit. I'm so glad that I got to experience these wonderful shows at Orlando Fringe. And I'm gonna get to experience a few more that I haven't seen yet tomorrow during Patrons Pick Day. And right now I'm gonna sleep so I can do that. I'll see you tomorrow.